What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and it is time for the week two pregame matchup analysis that I have against the Portland Timbers. Now, of course, in week one, I was able to clinch out a 2-0 victory, and that was a really close match. So now we have some new threats to take into account. As you can see, my opponent's team is on the right side of the screen, and he has some serious threats. Uh, he's, he's decided to go with Mega Agron, which in itself is an interesting choice just because it, it completely walls some of the members of my team and then some of the other members can at least to it KO it so I think I'm going to need to be able to play around that. Mega, Ad, Mega Agron can also carry interesting support options like Thunder Wave or Stealth Rocks and he can also carry weird special coverage moves such as Flamethrower and Thunderbolt. Uh, he also gets some interesting coverage in the form of Elemental Punches so I will have to be on the lookout for what coverage he has. Um, I'm also worried about on my opponent's team, his Zorark, the Alakazam, the Mew, and to a lesser extent, the Breloom and the Galvantula. Everything else there I think I can handle pretty well. But those five Pokemon in particular, first of all, Zorark, uh, right now it's, it has two, uh, I think it has two kills from, his, from the first match where he used it. So obviously he's apt at either disguising it or carrying good coverage. Um, Zorark has the ability to sucker punch my Rotom. It can carry psychic moves for a Venusaur. Um, it can even carry Flamethrower for my Cobalion and Weavile. Uh, so Togekiss really is going to be my best answer to Zorark. Now with that being said, if I bring in Togekiss at the wrong time, say that Zorark is disguised as Trakian or Landorus, then I then I run into a situation where I'm risking getting hit by a rock type attack. Um, I'm also worried about Alakazam just because of its propensity to run Focus Ash and kind of be a, a secondary win condition or secondary check. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to run entry hazards or not against his team. He has a lot of Pokemon that are grounded, and I don't really have spikes anywhere on my team, uh, but Stealth Rocks would help put some pressure on things. Um, Mew, of course, is just an incredibly versatile Pokemon. I've been watching people from other leagues using Mew in a variety of roles, such as a just a Volt Switcher, a Defogger, an Entry Hazard Setter, or something that can set up. Um, I did watch uh, the Portland Timbers' first week match, and I did get to see Mew utilizing Drain Punch and Knock Off, and it looked like a bulkier set. So, it looks like my opponent is a little bit more creative and I will have to be aware of Scouting Mew's moveset as soon as possible. Um, kind of just can't assume and throw something in there because if Mew has the right coverage move, that can be bad news. Uh, also throwing something into Mew's ability to support and use moves like Will-O-Wisp or Thunder Wave or Toxic could be really, really annoying as well. Now with Breloom and Galvantula, uh, Galvantula makes Sticky Web really scary against this team. Um, granted, Using Pokemon like Darmanit, I think the fastest thing I have is Sinchino, and then after that, Darmanitan and Cobalion. Um, now, if I'm able to keep Sticky Web off the field, that'll either be by taunting things with Cobalion or defogging with Togekiss or spinning with Donphan. And each one of those threats don't want to go up against Galvantula for different reasons. Donphan, of course, doesn't like taking energy balls or bug buzzes. Um, Togekiss doesn't like taking thunders, nor does Cobalion. So, I really don't want to allow my Pokemon to set up Sticky Web as an Entry Hazard, or even Stealth Rocks with Landorus, or Mew, or Terrakian, or anything like that, or Aggron, or Miltank. Miltank can set it up too. Wow, he has a lot of ways to get it on the field. Um, so I'm just going to have to be cognizant of, number one, just pay attention to the team preview, see who he brings, immediately identify his Stealth Rocker, and if he brings Galvantula, assume Sticky Web is going to hit the field, so that I can be aware of how I need to play around it. Um, even with Sticky Web on the field, my team does have a nice amount of bulk to be able to take hits uh, and retaliate back. Um, I'm not worried about Landorus or Terrakian, really. Terrakian can't do much to Venusaur. Landorus, I don't even think he will bring just because of the chance of Weavile. Um, and something else interesting, my opponent's team really does not like taking on uh, hits from Rotom, really. If I'm switching between Electric and Ghost-type attacks, I hit everything that he has for at least neutral. Uh, and of course, Rotom can burn things, and it can also uh, pain split against something like Miltank to keep its HP nice and high. Um, and Miltank, unless it's running Scrappy, can't really touch Rotom. 
So while I do think my opponent might bring uh, Miltank to the battle, I don't know if it'll be very useful. In fact, I really see a core of more of Agron, Mew, Breloom, Melodic, and Zoroark. I think that's much more likely for him to bring uh, just because of the, the good spread he gets between physical and special. And my neighbors are going to be really loud at this point because they're very annoying. Um, but anyways though, I am definitely going to be bringing a physically defensive Mega Venusaur uh, just to kind of handle the physical threats he has there. We're going to put a little bit of special defense on it just in case his Alakazam decides to carry Psychic instead of Psyshock. Uh, I don't want to leave Venusaur in a position where it has to take one, but if it has to, it has to and I want to make sure it can live that scenario. Uh, I also will need to decide between Quagsire and Donphan. I want to bring one of them. Both of them are pretty good at shutting down Aggron, uh, but they're both pretty susceptible to grass type attacks, which Zorar can run Grass Knot, Energy Ball from both Alakazam and Galvantula, and of course Breloom gets to have grass type attacks, and who knows what Mew wants to run. So maybe uh, throwing a Rindo Berry in there, or just being able to switch around will be pretty useful. Um, I really want to try out Tyrantrum. He has nothing to, uh, he has no fairy type, so he's nothing, nothing is immune to dragon. And uh, he only has, what, two, three things that resist rock. So I could very easily spam Head Smash on his team if I wanted to as well. Bandit Head Smash is just a joy, a joy just to, just when you can two hit KO Skarmory with a physical attack and it's not even super effective, you're playing with power. And that's in the Nintendo Power way. But outside of Tyrantrum, if I don't decide to bring him, I would bring Darmanitan. Uh, Darmanitan also gets really good coverage here, and it will be a good matchup or a good pairing with Rotom if I decide to bring Rotom because of U-Turn and Vol Switch. Um, Togekiss actually, interestingly, gets some great coverage options on his team. Between Aura Sphere, Dazzling Gleam, and Air Slash, I can hit every Pokemon on his team for super effective damage, except for the, uh, except for what, Galvantula, Mew, and Landorus, and Melodic. So that's pretty awesome. Um, that being said, I will need to be cognizant of Togekiss's weakness to Stealth Rocks, especially if I end up bringing Quagsire, I won't be able to get Stealth Rocks off the field. So having Togekiss to threaten my opponent in those situations will be nice, maybe Scarf it. That way, uh, especially if he's running Sticky Web, I can at least outspeed his Galvantula and hit him with something. Um, I don't know. Just a couple of options there. I don't see myself bringing Sinchino to this matchup. It's fast, but uh, it's. I feel like it's not necessarily going to be as useful here because I think my opponent really is going to get up Stealth Rock. And if Sinchino's not outspeeding things, it's kind of dead weight. So I need Pokemon that can take a hit. I will be bringing Weavile. Uh, just because I have the priority Ice Shard that threatens Landorus. It also will be a good way to pick off Alakazam and Breloom to a lesser extent, unless Sticky Web is up, then I won't want to stay in there because his Mach Punch will out-prioritize my Ice Shard. And of course, I can Pursuit Trap his Alakazam and Mew with Weavile as well. So there are a couple options there to be cognizant of. Um, I, I really like my chances against his team. It's, it's a very nice balance between bulk and power. And I, I just think with careful planning and paying attention to the team preview screen, I'll be able to quickly gather some information about his team. Um, his team, a lot of the Pokemon are so ver uh, versatile that I'm going to need to gather information as fast as I can in order to be successful. Um, we'll need to figure out if, the, if he brings Breloom, I'll need to figure out if it's a sub poison heal variant or maybe uh, the regular technician variant. Um, Cause sub poison heal is going to be annoying to go against, but otherwise, Venusaur Walls, Breloom, Agron, Terrakion, to a lesser extent Landorus and Melodic, uh, and even to, it can, it's a decent check for Galvantula too. So Venusaur handles those, but then he can very easily bring in a Psychic type on the back end uh, to threaten me out. And I can't just throw in Weavile against Psychic types because the Alakazam can use Dazzling Gleam. Um, you can use almost any move that it wants to basically. And if I guess wrong and it's Zoroark, well, then uh, we'll be in a whole other world of hurt. And that's why I really am tempted to bring Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks will help me tell if it's something is Zoroark when it switches in, or if it's another Pokemon. Especially because Zoroark is more likely to disguise itself to match the weaknesses and resistances, or that type of deal. 
So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little brief analysis matchup. Uh, I will be having this battle later today, hopefully. So that battle should be up pretty soon. But wish the Eterna City Enders luck, and we will certainly have a fantastic match with the Portland Timbers. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.